TalkShit Radio is a Kennedy Studios Productions. The opinions stated by various contributors to TalkShit Radio and its radio programs are not to be considered as or endorsed by Kennedy. TalkShit Radio is a Kennedy Studios Productions. The opinions stated by various contributors to TalkShit Radio and its radio programs are not to be considered as or endorsed by Kennedy Studios Incorporated. Visitors are urged to use their own discretion to draw their own conclusions. All information, product, services, and use of this website is for entertainment purposes only and personal use only. Talk Shit Radio Network does not confirm nor deny the validity or accuracy of the information contained within the website or broadcast. Any services or products provided by Talk Shit Radio Network and its host contributors should be used solely for entertainment purposes only. Attention, if you've had hip replacement surgery and suffered any complications, you need to listen to this important legal alert. Major manufacturers have made billions of dollars available to award legal claims for defective hip implants. Thousands of these defective hip implants have been recalled by various manufacturers. If you've had hip surgery and suffered complications, you may be entitled to receive significant compensation to help you deal with your complications. You may be eligible to receive money to help with medical expenses, lost wages, and pain and suffering. Protect yourself by hiring an experienced trial attorney. Our partner law firms are experts in hip replacement surgery lawsuits. Find out now if you're eligible to receive any of the $2.5 billion hip settlement fund. Call now for free information. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. That's 855-586-1560. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 877-229-7271. Again, 877-229-7271. That's 877-229-7271. 877-229-7271. Hey, this is Lewis, and you're listening to Talk Shit Radio. Welcome to Talk Shit Radio. I'm Yvonne. Hey, what's up? This is Tim. This is Talk Shit Radio. Um, I have been out on the streets every day except for yesterday. Okay. What the media is being... What the media... Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Well, good morning and happy Monday for everyone. I'm wondering why everything sounds weird, and that's because I haven't put my headphones on yet. So, hey, there we go. Headphones. Whoa, they were a little loud, a little loud. <clears throat> good morning, everyone. John, welcome to the chat. I see you in there already, and uh, it is 4-6. I hope everybody's uh, Easter went as well as mine. I actually had a really good Easter. I got to spend it with my two favorite people in the whole wide world. And uh, my third favorite person in the whole wide world is 1,200 miles away. Sweetheart, I love you. My daughter, Felicia, and I miss you. Um, busy, 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 busy freaking weekend, I gotta tell you, but first thing I gotta do is take a sip of my coffee, so hold on. Mm. Oh, yeah. Can't live without it. Show cannot go on without the Morning Joe. There's been a few shows that we've named it, (coughs) excuse me, the Morning Joe. Uh, today I am soloing it. 
uh, we've got Laura is what I call MIA, missing in action today. I think she might have partied a little too hard last night and forgot that we had to uh, do a show here this morning. So I'm um, just going over numbers on Facebook, and I'm completely and utterly amazed Um the uh, Kennedy Studios page is is blowing up. Uh, our new show, Blunt Talk Radio, is blowing up. It it's just uh, amazes me the support that I continue to get, um, even after that whole fiasco uh, that we had with Timmy and the zoo and everything. Um, apparently, with that, I've been following a little bit about what's going on with that. Apparently, Rick Kirkman, the the producer of Joe Exotic TV, has disappeared, and a bunch of footage has been taken by him in, in one of the articles. See, it's weird because there's so many different articles out there. There's so many different stories out there that I you, you really you're not sure which one you're you know you should be believing um i don't know anymore you know i've already reached out to rick so we're gonna see if rick kirkman uh contacts me um and we're gonna we're gonna get him to maybe come into the studio and uh and uh tell his side of the story about what happened now, if anybody knows the truth of what's going on out at the gw zoo it would be rick now i'm trying to get the phone lines open because I redid a little something something on the on the system down here to make it a little more efficient but <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> it is monday morning folks monday morning um we've got 420 coming up which is going to be uh quite a busy day for me actually the few days prior to that are going to be busy days we have on the 18th i'm going down to um i'm going to what i call canna school um and it's the old cigar factory down in tampa it is carlos and mr tom quigley if those of you who've been following us for quite some time now you remember them they own the uh, business model school down in tampa that teaches you how to run a cannabis industry or run a business for that matter in the cannabis industry and i do believe that we were invited to finally go down there well we've been invited a bunch of times it was a matter of getting the time to do it um we uh looks like we're gonna go down there on the 18th and then uh for those of you that are following us on talk shit radio network dot com um i mean on uh, facebook.com forward slash talk shit tv show you can also go to uh um TalkShitRadioNetwork.com to get our latest episodes and everything like that but for those of you that are following us on facebook we have a, a 420 event that we're going to be putting together. Now, I spoke to, actually, I didn't speak to him yet, but I did get a message from Sideshow's partner, Stitch. And for those of you, again, who follow us and listen to the shows, we have the new show called Blunt Talk Radio, which is uh, more focused on the, on the cannabis and everything around legalization. Um, talk shit is talk shit. We talk shit about everything. Nothing to no one is safe. But we do a lot of... Um, shows on cannabis and medical cannabis and so on and so forth. Now, um, my point to all of this is, is because uh, apparently um, Stitch, which is a Sideshow's partner on Blunt Talk Radio, our other program, which airs every Thursday night, 8 o'clock. Um, you can, no, correction, 8 o'clock on Wednesday nights. We have the third episode coming up. Um, wow, I got real, real high... Uh, net ping this morning internet's busy out there i guess um yeah so anyway uh let me, let me actually just get over to this event here and read up a little a bit about it and tell you what's going to be going on because there's actually we have a lot of giveaways that we're going to be doing we've got a 50 50 raffle we're going to hold um, we're going to hold raffles for some vape pens. I've, I've got uh, Stogie Smoke Shop on US-19 and Commercial Way going to give us a bunch of goodies. Um, we've got, uh, we've got uh, $80 or so, 80 to a $100 worth of, of um, gift certificates from, uh, from uh, let's see, um, Allure Hair Design. 
uh, down in Hudson. We've got gift certificates from Family Fitness. We've got T-shirts. We've got so many things that we're going to be giving away uh, at this event that it's going to be, um, it's definitely going to be a, a talk shit event to remember. Uh, and then from there, like I said, Stitch is got another one lined up for us, which is actually going to be another location, but a grand opening that we're going to broadcast from. So uh, things are just moving right along the natural progression of Talk Shit Radio Network, folks. Uh, not going to stop just because, you know, whatever happened, happened. <clears throat> I know I've been dragging my feet on it, and, you know, it's taking me a while to saddle. But, uh... What are you gonna do? <clears throat> I, I lost my brother from another mother. He was uh, he was a good partner. We we made a good show, and uh, you'll have to excuse me if the internet is acting funky because for some reason it is on my end acting very weird. Um, my net ping is just incredibly high, which means that I'm. Just uh, here in the studio, uh, there's a lot going on on the internet. Whether it's going to interrupt the show, I'm not too sure, but we've yet to see that. Now CPU usage is going way up. What the hell's going on here? Anyway, I'm just trying to watch everything, guys, while we do the show here and make sure that uh, I don't lose the broadcast. Let me maybe shrink that down there. Oh... We've got things that want to be done. That's why computers want to, uh, while we're on the show, computers want to clean itself up and, and do all sorts of things. So I have entirely too much stuff on there. We have, um, anyway, uh, so Monday, April 20th, say around 6 o'clock uh, till 2 a.m. Now, I know it's a Monday, but it's 420, people. Come on out. Uh, we're going to have a live event at Skinny's Bar and Grill. <clears throat> Skinny's is located at 13228 U.S. Highway 19, Hudson, Florida, 34667. Um, and we're going to be uh, hanging out with the Talk Shit Radio crew, the Blunt Talk Radio crew. So you'll have Laura Kennedy, myself, Lewis Kennedy. You'll have Silent Miss. You'll have my new partner, Jim Kennedy, which is Laura Kennedy's obviously husband. Um, and uh, Blunt Talk Radio will have Sideshow and Stitch there. Um, you know, Blessed Ed and the Divine Derelict Band will be there playing. Uh, we'll be giving away, like I said, gift certificates to Allure Hair Design, Family Fitness. I've got a bunch of uh, uh, vapor goodies we're going to be giving away <clears throat> uh, provided to us by Stogie Smoke Shop. Um, go ahead and go check out Stogie's. Uh, you won't be disappointed. These guys are the bomb. They're closed uh Monday through Sunday. Wow, they're they're closed holidays, so they're open uh, seven days a week, and uh, their address is four five nine six Commercial Way, Spring Hill, Florida three four six zero eight. That's right there by Honey Baked Ham. For those of you who know the area, they uh, they take care of us at Talk Shit Radio Network, and uh, you you can go ahead and tell them Lewis sent you from Talk Shit Radio Network. Now, um, phone lines are open in case anybody wants to call in and bullshit with me. Uh, I am doing the show by myself this morning, but we are going to talk about this event that we got going on. I'm excited. There's going to be food, there's going to be drinks, and there's going to be music, and there's going to be a live freaking host there. What more do you need to have a good time? I mean, hell, we're going to have, check this out. This is the, re the really, really fun thing about it. We're, we're going to have Jim Kennedy, my brother from another mother, all right? Um, and we're going to have Sideshow, my other brother from another, my, uh, my other mother, um, who is the host of Blunt Talk Radio out there in the audience with microphones out there talking to you. So come on down. Get your ass on the radio and, and talk some shit with us and, and be blunt and uh, let's talk on the radio. Hence the names, Talk Shit Radio, Blunt Talk Radio. Now, I'm looking to my right where I would usually turn to see, you know, my, my gorgeous co-host, Laura, and all I see is an empty chair. So I'm not too sure what happened there, but we'll have to address that later. I'm sure she's going to be waking up going, oh, shit, Lou, the show. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, um, it is going to be, uh, you know, 
a fun event. We're going to party our asses off. Uh, we're going to drink responsibly, and we're not going to drink and drive. Um, going to try. I've already contacted a, a couple of cab companies in the area, and they're going to try and work something out with us to see about you know getting uh, getting everybody home safe. That's been drinking. Uh, worst comes to worst, if you're too drunk to drive, and you know, I mean. A lot of people are coming from Spring Hill, so if you're too drunk to drive, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people that can give you a ride. Uh, they are in back, actually. Me, forget it, don't ask. Nobody's getting a ride with me except for my crew and my equipment, because that's about all I'll have room and time for. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? We got that event that I'm going to be throwing together here shortly about the uh, grand opening. I've, I know nothing about it. I'll get with Stitch today, and uh, we'll get some more information about that. The 18th, I know we're going down, like I said, to go see Carlos and Tom at um, at that school. And I, you'll have to forgive me. There's so much going on that I can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, let, let's talk about the GW Zoo a little bit and what's been going on out there. Um, apparently, uh, there's been a picture surfacing around on the Internet of Timmy and Joe. I guess they went out on a date. Um, which just goes to prove my theory that Timmy was, was gay, which dude, whatever, man. I mean, you, I don't care. I don't not like gay people. I don't like gay people that lie to me and, and, you know, play touchy feely with me and that kind of thing, which, you know, the only thing you've done is lie to me, but whatever. Um, it's, it's not about straight, gay, bi, try, fucking put the thing around your neck and hang from the ceiling and tinkle on a balloon. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the lack of respect that you've shown me and my family, which don't worry, dude. I mean, you know, eventually you're going to have to run into me again and then we'll see, you know, I'll, I'll teach you a little something, something about respect. Um, it's, it's easy to, to say what you want to say 1200 miles away, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now I got a lot of people asking me, um, about the fire and, and because my little trip to Oklahoma and did I do it? What the fuck do you guys think? Do you really think I would go there and waste my fucking time to burn something like that piece of fucking shit down over, what, Timmy? Give me a break, people. Are, are we that naive, or, or, or do you think I'm that fucking shallow, dudes? Yes, I was upset. Yes, I shed a tear because I cared for Timmy, and we had a good fucking thing. But am I going to kill some fucking alligators and burn his fucking piece of shit studio down? Are you kidding me? My mixer is worth more than everything he had in that fucking studio anyway. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't give a shit either way as far as if the whole fucking place burned to the ground. The only thing I would give a shit is if the animals made it out alive. Everybody else can burn in fucking hell. I, I just don't care. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Um... Why did I go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about it? Well, <laughs> look at the numbers of my pages. You idiots kept on and keep on and continue to listen to the show and to try and hear every little tidbit you can and to see what I'm saying. And I mean, let's face it, you know, it's good radio. It makes, it makes good radio. And if Joe was smart, he'd contact me and we'd fucking keep playing this to the gill because it makes damn good ratings. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, as far look, if Timmy came home tomorrow and said, Lou, I'm sorry, I love you, brother, can we go on? I'd say, we can go on as friends. But that's it. I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't trust him anymore. Uh, he wouldn't work here for me anymore. Um, you know, uh, would I be friends with him? Sure, of course. If, he didn't stop me. He didn't do nothing to me. You know, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. But uh, like I said, you know, it's it's just been... It's made for, for good content, let's face it. You know, um, everybody out there that listens has listened and listened and listened and wanted to know. And, and you know, um, I just think it was hilarious, you know. I had a lot of people, like I said, ask me that I burned down the zoo. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Seriously, did I burn down the zoo? Now, did, do you want to ask me, did I, was I in Oklahoma um, a couple days prior? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Was I taking care of some business? Yes, I was. Am I making good on my promises? Because I don't make threats. I make promises. I promised 
that I'm going to destroy Joe's career. Um, am I making good on that? Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. Um, it's like that that spider that crawls in your boot. Uh, you didn't ever, ever know he was there until he bit you, you know. Um, it's it's at that point, you know. What was I doing in Oklahoma? Well, Joe showed me where the federal building was, so I had some business I had to take care of in the federal building. We all know he's not a very liked person in that building anyway, so I had to uh, clear up a few things. Um, do I play dirty pool? You're fucking damn right I play dirty pool. Do I get nasty? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, were you guys warned about it? Yes, you are. So, I, you know, that's what, that's what I guess when Michelle and I sit back and we laugh about it. Um, you know, anybody that's been around me and, and has hung out with me and has dealt with me through the show knows, you know, you don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with me because I fuck back. <laughs> and I fuck back hard. And I enjoy it. That's the sick part about it. I like what I do. It's fun to me. That's why we, That's why I came up with the show, Talk Rit, Shit Radio. But I'm trying to see what we got in the news today. I can continue to go on about Joe. Doesn't matter to me. I've been, I've been hearing little bits and pieces, and the, and that's the best thing is those little bits and pieces. Joe, no matter how much you block me, no matter how much you tell your people to block me, not to listen, or whatever, just remember, I've got somebody standing so close to you, so close telling me everything that's going on everything you don't know who you can trust in that park anymore sleep well <laughs> <laughs> oh i love being a dick it's so much fun all right so anyway um looks like uh what is this rolling stone over rape story uh j school blasts rolling stone over rape story. See, now that's the second time I've saw that headline. And now I have to go check that out because that is one of those headlines. One of those things that makes you go, hmm, let's check this out here because that's the second time. That was on MSN and, uh, and, uh, um, okay, so that, that makes more sense. So it was on MSN and it was on, Bay News 9, a local channel here. And this is out of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Rolling Stone is pledging to review its editorial practices but won't fire anyone after leading journalism school issue issued a blasting critique on how it reported and edited a directional article about alleged gang rape at the University of Virginia. Columbia Graduate School said in a Sunday report that the magazine shortcomings encompasses report. Okay, so it wasn't what I thought it was. It's the Rolling Stone magazine, and I guess what's a journalist school? Wow, you hit up it, bang it banging away and what i guess is a journalist school in in uh the university of virginia uh banging heads over some stupid um this one said that one said i don't fucking really care to it's not talk shit worthy <laughs> let's go back to the main page here all right so what else we have locally i'll stick to local first and then we'll go international it sounds good <laughs> bright house sports network uh, University of Connecticut and Notre Dame to clash in Tampa finally. Okay. Well, that's a little talk shittish. Um, hey, that's almost like Yiddish. Talk shittish. I can make up my own fucking language here. Uh, U UConn and Notre Dame to clash in Tampa. Final four title game. Wow. That means if Tampa loses to Notre Dame, there's going to be problems down here in Tampa. That means that if Notre Dame loses to Tampa, there's going to be problems down here in Tampa. So when that game goes on, I would not go anywhere near Tampa if, if I was anyone who lives down here. Showers will be f further inland today. Fucking rain sucks, dude. I mean, we need it, but shit, does it suck. It just gets humid and nasty. My 
chickens at home. They, yes, I have chickens now. We have five chickens. It's uh, it's a quite an interesting thing. We we baby, bought them as baby chicks, and I must tell you, those fuckers grow fast, F- very fast. And we've all heard me go on about my daughter being the bird whisperer, how she stole my love bird. Well, she stole my chickens too. These fucking chickens, she's able to grab them, flip them over, and pet them on their bellies. They just go limp in her arms. It's amazing to see what this girl does with the animals. Now, see, that's another part of what pisses me off about this whole situation with Joe and all of that shit, because my daughter wanted to be a veterinarian. No better place to have her learn about animals, but a, a you know an exotic, an exotic animal rescue establishment. So... But yeah, she uh, these these chickens with her are amazing. They're, they're, she's got this one. He's brown and I don't know what white. I don't know. He just uh, he likes to chill with her, man. And she goes out there and grabs him, and he don't or she she don't scream, she don't cry, and she just rolls over and hangs out. My freaking daughter, the bird whisperer, the animal whisperer, I should say. Uh, a car wash without water, pretty close. All right. <clears throat> that's something that we have to click on and check out. Uh, because how can you wash your car? I mean, I've seen the waterless car wash malarkey shit, but... Um, all right, so let's see what we got. <clears throat> it takes gallons and gallons of water to get your car squeaky clean. That is, if you got to a regular car wash. But USF student Nick Price said he has a more efficient way to do to get the job done. Price and his fellow students started a business, City Slickers, as a part of a class assignment to find an eco-friendly way. Oh, okay. Rather than gallons of water, tires, a few ounces of water, a bottle of wash and wax, microfibers. Yeah, except you're just rubbing dirt more into the paint of the car. You, you have to wash it away. I'm sorry. There's just, just no way about it. No two ways about it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You want to come up with an eco-friendly way to wash cars, then, um, then uh, you know, come up with a, a, um, a system in a car wash that recycles that water, reclaims that water, I should say, as a proper verbiage, and um, cleans it, filters it, chlorinates it, and sends it back through the car wash. So, uh, crew respond to bee attack in Newport Ritchie. Bee attack. Okay, so we ha- we're calling the police because the bees are attacking now. Uh, welcome to Pasco County, folks. This must have been one hell of a fucking beehive. So emergency personnel responded to the report of a bee attack Sunday in Newport Ritchie. Four people were stung at 1120 a.m. near 7805 Calabash Lane, and two of them were taken to Medical Center of Trinity for treatment. Pasco County Fire Rescue said a wild hive uh, in a tree off Calabash may contain 20 to 30,000 bees and residents in the area are urged to use caution, authorities said. I'll tell you what, that's badass. 20 to 30,000 bees. Yeah, I use caution for sure. As in, like, go around the block. Don't even, like, want to go take a look at something like that. My luck... It'll just be that second to where the, the bees will catch a sniff of something and they'll think it's me and they'll come after me and I'll get stung by 20, 30,000 bees and live. You see, I won't die from something like that. That'll be my luck. I'll live. And then I'll be the biggest walking, itchy, oh my God, just imagine one giant fucking bee bite just walking. I would just tell everybody, just drag me around. Drag me on the concrete. Let me roll a little. It scratches up a different spot, but I'm so itchy everywhere. I just, you know, let me go for it. Anyway. All right, we're going to take a break, everyone. I'm sitting here babbling on for about a half hour now. going to take a break, and then we're going to get into some news. Uh, short show today because I'm going at it myself. I did have the all intentions on going the full three hours. But it uh, doesn't look like we're going to do it today. So, um, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We will return after these messages. 
If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45, non-tobacco user, could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policy of $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-430-1481. 800-430-1481. That's 800-430-1481. If you want to work until you keel over, have less of everything in retirement, or give back more of your hard-earned money to the stock market again, then just ignore me. But if you'd like to protect the money you save, receive a steady, predictable retirement income, and enjoy financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. You can download a free report that reveals the wealth-building secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. You'll learn how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, and real prosperity without risking your money in the Wall Street casino and how to get the money you need when you need it simply by asking for it. This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. To learn more about this method and to get your free report, go to 28security.com. That's the number 28security.com. 28security.com. Go to 28security.com. If you're looking for a better way to clean the air in your home or office, you need the all-new ozone light. It's as simple as changing your light bulbs. The ozone light looks like a normal spiral type of light bulb. It screws in most standard light sockets, but it's not a normal light bulb. It's coated with titanium dioxide. It's completely safe, but this unique coating kills most airborne bacteria, mold spores, and neutralizes odors. Just one light cleans the air in an entire room and lasts eight times longer than the normal light bulb. If you have smokers, if you have allergies, if you have pet odors, mold, or mildew, you need the ozone light. It will wipe them out. And you have our word. If you're not satisfied with the way the ozone light cleans the air in your home, simply return it for a full refund. Call 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. Or visit airtimestore.com. That's airtimestore.com. Welcome back to Talk Shit Radio, everyone. Little Alice Cooper going in the background there. Some 18, and I like it. Yeah, well, what I wouldn't give to be 18 again, that's for sure. Well, that's because he drew them on his face. Not only, but, you know, it wasn't just wrinkles. He drew those lines. Anyway, um, I got so much music now, thanks to uh, my new uh, compadre, uh, Team Sideshow. That's uh, hashtag Team Sideshow or hashtag Sideshow. Um, he is my new brother from another mother. Uh, the, sh- the host of Blunt Talk Radio, him and Stitch. Good morning, Silent Mish. How are you this morning? Yes, I'm in here by myself. You're looking at me funny. Why? What's the matter? Silent Mist just popped her head in. Uh, just got here to the studio. To see what's up. Nothing. No one. Just me. How you feeling? You okay? It's a beautiful day today. No. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna end the show at about nine o'clock today because it's just me. So, but uh. <clears throat> 
Yeah, like I was saying, uh, he's been, every time we uh, we record a new episode for his Blunt Talk Radio, I grab his hard drive and I take a bunch of music off his hard drive. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for uh, Team Sideshow, and uh, um, I know he doesn't like me, you know, using his real name. It's like, you know, Batman, Bruce Wayne type thing, you know. But if it wasn't for uh, Sideshow, and, and uh, I wouldn't have uh, any of this music. I'd have to sit in here and babysit it because, uh, let's face it, you know, I didn't have the music let's see we got something going on in the chat room here hey johnny what's going on buddy all good down there he says um yeah dude man you know i mean uh, things couldn't be better we're we're moving the show on i got the big 420 event we got going on um got the 18th we got another event we're going down to see carlos and tom quigley down at the cannabis school and you know the cannabis school for business or the school for cannabis business, whatever, I'll get the information. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I got, you know, a, a grand opening that we're getting ready to do. We got all these sports videos. That's why I named the show uh, Talk Shit Radio Money, Money, Monday, because today's the day that all the money comes in from most of those videos and everything that I've produced over the last uh, two, three weeks. So just because I ain't on the air don't mean I ain't, uh, I ain't uh, doing my thing because I do a lot of production work uh, off the off the air now uh, moving forward blood talk radio is coming back at you this wednesday eight o'clock tonight or eight o'clock at night uh we got a whole new episode that we uh, got recorded down with uh mike and sideshow and then i do believe we're going to try and get some of the guests that we've had on talk shit radio on Blunt Talk Radio to talk to Mike and Stitch about cannabis, more focused show, strictly to the point about cannabis. Now, there's something that I'm staring at up in the top corner of the studio, and it almost looks like a spider, and it almost makes me want to grab the wireless headphones and get the fuck up out of the studio, because I don't like spiders. <laughs> but I think it's just a screw with some wire hanging off of it or something at least that's what i'm saying it is so i don't get all freaked out about it but anyway <laughs> um so we got a lot of shit going on over the next uh few actually few weeks um i i got uh, i got a bunch more sports videos that we're going to be working on and when i say sports videos what i'm doing is i'm working with uh, some of the local schools and we're doing uh, college recruitment videos um going out with uh a crew of five and and we're going out and we're recording and doing still video uh, still pictures of um you know certain kids on the field doing uh doing their sport mostly it's been soccer right now we've been following this team from wikiwachi high school and some christian academy um henry the hitman he's a good friend of mine those of you who've been following the show you know me talking about henry the hitman and uh, he's just one of my uh, tough guys from new york but um his son is one of the ones who's uh, gone up against an all-star team, and it's incredible. Um, just, you know, these kids play their hearts out. You'll never, ever, ever see them play with their heart ever again once they're out of school. It's it's just because then it just becomes about money, and it's it's, you know. They're already making the money, so why fucking work hard? <laughs> I guess that's when you realize work smart, not hard. What do you say, John? Anyway, uh, what is new up there with you, Johnny Boy? That, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. And when are we going to get a sponsorship from Johnny? I'm throwing you out, putting you out there, buddy. Um, with all these events, you know what? You should uh, You should go buy a canopy. Uh, you know, one of those canopies that you, you quick pull up, pop up canopies and have uh, all phase um, group or whatever you want put on it and talk shit radio network on it or Kennedy Studios or whatever you want put on it for that matter and uh, send it on down here to Florida and, and you know, that'll be uh, your sponsorship right there, Bo. You got a lot of events coming up, a lot of events. Um, cool thing about, let me go over this too. Because a uh, cool thing about 420 is we have a uh, 50-50 raffle that's going to go on. Uh, we're going to hold a, we're going to do a couple of games. One of them in particular that I'm looking forward to is Are You Smarter Than a Stoner? Uh, we've got a bunch of giveaways. Uh, and particularly as far as giveaways, we have um, Allure Hair Design has provided us with uh, a nice chunk of gift certificates. 
uh, Family Fitness Center down there in Newport Ritchie has provided us with a, with a nice chunk of uh, gift certificates, <clears throat> which I'll have to check, but I do believe you'll be able to use those at en- any Family Fitness. So I do have to find that out. Um, I got some funny shit going on with my computer this morning. I guess it's time to uh, time to do a cleanup on that thing. Um, and most important, we just picked up uh, good friends of mine, Stogie's uh, Smoke Shop, um, and it's uh, smoking hot over there at. 4596 Commercial Way, Spring Hill, Florida, 34606. You can reach them at 352-600-7997. They're going to be throwing us a bunch of freebies uh, to give away that we're going to be holding raffles for and just giving shit away, calling people out randomly and so on and so forth. Um, We are, like I said, certain things we're going to be raffling, certain things we're just going to give away. Um, we're going to play the game. Are you smarter than, a, than, are you smarter than a stoner? You'll be able to win a few things just playing that game. Um, part of the proceeds we make on the raffle will go to skinnies and help, uh, you know, help them with the event. Um, part of it will go into, uh, blunt talk radio and talk shit radio and Kennedy studios. And then part of it will go to the winner of the 50 50 um <clears throat> we're also going to uh you know bring a little back to our sponsors uh you know try to a little say a little thank you um you know maybe make a donation or something in their name to a worthy cause um it was for, you know my personal worthy cause would have to be something that has to do with veterans harley's for heroes is probably one of the biggest ones that i like um you know, uh, the, the, uh, I would donate to the Veterans Association or, or hell, you know, I mean, there's just so many, so many. That's part of what I want to do the talk shit road trip all about. Sponsorship money, pay me per mile to go from location to location, and we broadcast, and we donate the proceeds to a charity. Now... Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to see, trying to get just some news up and see what we have. Regular news here. Uh, we'll start over here. Your news wire is always some cuckoo shit going on. Let's see. Uh, let me let me wait till I flip. So Saudi Arabia rejects Russian arms embargo proposal in Yemen conflict. We have Mark Zuckerman ordered to release emails over Facebook ownership. Whoa, 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 whoa. Facebook ownership dispute. Oh, nice, Mark. What'd you do? Did you steal fucking Facebook from somebody? Um, artificial sweeteners may lead to obesity and diabetes. I think we knew that for a while. Uh, Syrian foreign minister... Uh, says a time for international efforts to eliminate the Israel arsenal of WMD. Whew. That sounds closer and closer to World War Three. Uh, oh, here we go. We got uh, the whitest black dude in America who uh, is in the news again, and he's dead. So this is the best part about it. Michael Jackson paid two hundred million hush money over rape, child rape claims. Now. <clears throat> Um, if you didn't do it, what are you paying hush money for? And that's all I've got to say about that. And Australian politics. Oh, Australian politician arrested for fighting ISIS. So we have a politician who is arrested for fighting, not fighting for, not fighting with, but fighting against ISIS. So they arrested him. Alrighty then. Welcome to Australia. Mighty. All right. So now, uh, Parliament. Here we go. This is this this one's this one caught my eye, and it's very interesting. It says, um, "Parliament pass law to allow nuclear waste in local communities," and it shows a picture of these cans with you know the nuclear insignia and a bunch of houses, and yeah, it's, that's quite interesting. I'll, I'll put all of these stories up on Facebook because uh, some of this shit's too good to be true. 
Then we have Sp- uh, Spielberg going to make a movie about a documentary about a real UFO lake. So apparently there's a real lake where UFOs are just like breeding and nesting. They have little UFO babies and all that kind of good stuff there. So, um, you know, the ones from Area 51, they didn't crash land in, in you know, Area 51. No, they went to this lake. They fucked for a little while. And they're, they're, they're like, uh, what was it, flies. After they lay their maggots, they, they fly away and die. So that's where they crash landed. That's why they found it. And in other news. <laughs> Boy, I just went to a real news site to a satire news site within just seconds. So blast of summer to hit Britain next week. 21, wow, 21 Celsius temperature is coming. So 21 Celsius. What is, let's see, Celsius to, let me bust out the old converter here. 21 C. Um, let's see, two, two, 21 F. And let's see what that brings me. Um, are you serious? That's summer. 70 fucking degrees, 69.8 degrees. That, that's a blast of summer. Are you kidding me? 70 degrees. I, I tell you what, I'll take 70 degrees all day long. All right, so this one, uh, this one's very, 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 very disturbing. We talk about it a lot, and it's the Russian experts warn World War III will begin due to U.S., NATO, and Crimea. Crimea? What the hell's Crimea? I'm going to have to look that up, guys. See, if I don't know it, I can't talk about it. So i got to find out what it is. C-R-I-M-E-A. You know who I was uh, thinking about the other day? And uh, Oh, okay. It's uh, Crimea, the, the, the peninsula in Europe. I was thinking about Don, the old wise man, the other day. And how come we hadn't seen him in the chat or, you know... Uh, Hadn't seen him on my Facebook or anything like that. Um, well, apparently he blocked me uh, on Facebook. So I guess uh, he didn't like the fact that I refused to help him anymore when he had his heart attacks and was dying every other week on a regular basis for five years. Um, I spoke to a few people who have said Don's been dying for years. If everybody jumped up and helped Don, Don would be able to help everybody. New improved Harden Collider restarts CERN hunt for dark matter. Well, I guess uh, if you remember the, the Atom Smasher, there was a little problems and they had to shut down. and So now they're going to restart it. So. All right, moving on. Uh, sci-fi, there's a huge solar cannon. A uh, canyon, I'm sorry. Um, it's a canyon of fire. Uh, will, uh, the CME from the sun will reach Earth Tuesday. CME from the sun. All right, so now i got to Google CME from the sun um, and find out what that is. CME, F-R-O-M, the sun. All right. So let's see what CMEs are. Ah, coronal, core, coronal mass ejections is what that is. And basically it's a um, blast of fire coming out. <laughs> yeah. Sunspots. And I can, here, I'll put up the Wikipedia for everybody to, to see, but. All right, so what else we got here? Uh, this one's funny as hell, too. This, this one's pretty good. We have uh, bizarre news. It says, weird portal to hell. Black rings spotted in the sky. And there is a video, so let's see. Obviously, there's going to be a uh, commercial associated with it, so. And they're opening. Oh, and they don't speak English, of course. Um, holy shit, man. These people are... It's always in them countries over there. I guarantee it. 
I guarantee there's some dude somewhere hiding out, going, watch me fuck with these guys and make all of these stupid drones. All right, so this one, this one I got to click on, folks, because this one's pretty cool. The headline reads, new Alzheimer's drug found. Um, a drug originally developed to treat cancer tumor uh, cancer tumors is now being used in an Alzheimer's study. As research, researchers found, it restores memory loss in mice given the disease. Uh, the drug called AZD zero or ADZ excuse me. The drug called AZD. 05030 is being tested by scientists at Yale University in the U.S. as a part of a program funded by the U.S. National Institute of Health. That is great news, just as long as uh, we don't have, uh, what movie was that, uh, I Am Legend type situation going on. Um, let's see what this, uh, that's a gorgeous house, man. What the hell is that? One drought for the rich and another for everyone else as Golden State goes brown again. All right. Due to the California water shortage, new rules are calling for 25% cut in the urban water usage. A move to set a deepened, long-standing division between the wealth, the wealthy and those who are not so well off. All right, so they want to um, basically make it to where uh, to where um, the average Joe like me can only water my lawn the same as the super rich this way. I don't know, whatever. I think it's fair. I'm going to have some coffee. Hold on, folks. Oh, damn, that's good. Um, which it should be equally quality anyway, so. Just because you got more money than me doesn't mean you can uh, water your lawn any more than me. All right, so I'm looking at these, um, the rest of these articles, and they suck. So we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on from uh, It's a nice house, though. It's a nice house. I'll get this. All these articles, I'll get up. Everything that we talked about on uh, today's show, I'll get up on uh, Talk Shit Radio and Kennedy Studios and all of that. Um, oh, we got some notifications going on. <clears throat> what else we got in the news? Let's see. How about some anti-media warmongers angry over prospect not going to war with Iran? Um, over protest of not going to war. So, well, why would we want? Okay, so warmonger is angry over prospect of not going to war with Iran. Um, we don't want to go to war with Iran, so we don't want to go to war with any of them fuckers anymore. One million dollar, one billion dollar lawsuit. Wow. Government-funded studies intensely inject people with STDs. You motherfuckers. John Hopkins University before, performing unethical government-sponsored studies with infecting people with STDs. Wow. That's got to go up right away. That's a, that's a killer fucking story right there, man. Damn. We're going to have to post that. On Talk Shit Radio Network, <laughs> Talk Shit, uh, Kennedy Studios. Just think about it, man. Those ads that you always see in the paper where you're like, oh, you know, I'd love to participate in one of these studies and get paid for it. Maybe, you know, help make medical history and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you go for it, buddy. Yeah, you'd be getting some fucking herpagonocyphalid stuck up in your ass. That's what I'm saying, man. Fuck that you will not be catching me <laughs> volunteering for any health studies ever 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 that's crazy john hopkins university one billion dollar lawsuit can i have the taxes that have to be paid by each person for that one billion dollar lawsuit that's all i want just the taxes mm. damn it man all right so moving on 
Uh, it's about 8.57. I'm going to end the show about 9 o'clock. We've got about three minutes. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, as always, I appreciate it. Again, I'll say it. And uh, we'll be back to it. i gotta get, uh, I got to get Laura on a regular schedule here. Uh, i got to put a firecracker in her ass and, and get her to be uh, talk shit worthy. The consequences of a soaring U.S. dollar. Syrian rebels ransack economic zones. Jordan protests. It's all crap in the news today anyway, folks. You ain't missing nothing. Nothing at all. I will get everything we talked about on facebook.com forward slash talk shit TV show. Facebook.com forward slash talk shit radio network. I'll get all of that up there so you can go over anything. MSNBC is once again sucked. Um, they, uh, they, they just never put anything good up. Obama, they cannot fight us. Video of the brothers and the Boston bombing. Uh, BB blast Iran deal. Uh, the GOP will announce two thousand. It's all crap. <laughs> McDonald's faces backlash after wage hike. Um, yeah. Crap, 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 crap. So don't forget, we will be at Skinny's Bar and Grill on 420 Broadcasting Live. We'll be uh, partying down. Very responsible party, please. I'm going to party down and have a good time on 420. And uh, we're going to have... Uh, Going to have the uh, cast from uh, Blunt Talk Radio there. Going to have my crew here from Talk Shit Radio there. We're all going to be hanging out, doing some drinking, doing some partying, listening to some reggae, talking some shit, talking some blunt talk. And uh, that's all at uh, Skinny's Bar and Grill at 13228 U.S. Highway 19, Hudson, Florida, 34667. If you're uh, if you're not busy and you want to go out and have a good time on 420, uh, that's uh, Monday. If you're curious, come on down, check us out, hang out. We'd love to have you. Let's talk shit for today, everyone. I appreciate uh, everyone for listening. And uh, we're going to get the music going up here in a little bit. I just got a few things to take care of. But, uh, yeah, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow. Again, thanks for listening. Peace.